I have this command prompt software opened on my desktop background and I have my command line interface activated and this is the current location that we have within this interface. We have look at the C and then the next folder is users and the last current location or directory is Jonas Owusu Banahene. Now we are going to learn how to create multiple folders on different locations within this current locations so we have to identify the different directories that we have in this current location which is Jonas Owusu Banahene now to do this we are going to type a simple command that is going to display all directories we have in this current location so we are going to type dir which stands for directory now after typing this command we are going to hit the return key on the keyboard this is going to display all directories that we have in this current location so when you look at this commands we have this directory that says that these directories that we have here are displayed within this current folder so the directory of look at dixie users and jonas owusu banahene these are all the directories that we have in these operations therefore we can choose any of these locations or directories and create our multiple folders in this video we are going to emphasize on three locations or directories within this directory then we learn how to create our multiple folders we are going to start with the desktop so to get access to the desktop we are also going to utilize another command within command prompt which is cd and cd stands for change directory so i'm going to type cd in this line of code now after typing the cd you hit the space bar then you type desktop and let's hit the enter key now when you hit the enter key now we are going to have the desktop as the current location in this line of code so when you look at this code and compare it to this previous commands or line of course you can see there is a slight difference when you look at this line of course this is the current location this is the previous location now that this is set as the current location we are going to create our multiple folders in this location and we are going to use a command which is mkdir and mkdir stands for make directory and this command is similar to md so you can use any of these commands whether md or mkdir now after typing this command you hit the space bar on the keyboard then you type the names you want to have for your individual folders which are the multiple folders that we want to create on this current location and i'm going to type some five names so that we can see all the folders that we are going to create which will be displayed on the desktop and when you look at this graphical user interface these are the icons which are displayed and we don't have any folder created on the desktop and the desktop is the current location that is set so i'm going to type the names now i have typed all the names that i want to have for the individual folders and anytime you type the name of the first folder you make sure that you create a space by hitting the space bar on the keyboard then you type the next name that you want to have for your folders now that this is done i'm going to hit the enter key on the keyboard and this is going to create folders on the desktop which is the current location and when i move back to my desktop or my graphical user interface i'm going to see that i have all these folders created which was successfully done by the command prompt software which is a free software on our windows interface so this is how to choose a location within your command prompt software and create your multiple folders 
now that we are done with the desktop let's move back to this directories and select another location and create our multiple folders this time around we are going to target the document folder so what we are going to do is to switch back to this previous location then we choose our document we are going to type a simple command which is cd dot dot and this command helps you to move back to the previous location and after typing this command you hit the enter key now we have switched back to this previous location therefore we can target the document directory and create our multiple folders so i'm going to type cd document then we hit the enter key now the document becomes the current location we already know all the directories that we have so when you have the name in mind you can just type cd and switch to any directory that is located in this current location now that the document is set as our current location we can create our multiple folders before then let's open our graphical user interface by utilizing the file explorer and identify the document directory and see if we have any folder created within this location so i'm going to hold the windows key and the letter e this opens the file explorer and when you look at these directories that we have in the navigation pane this is the document folder when you click on it these are the folders that are currently created in this location so we are going to create our multiple folders and we are going to have those folders displayed in this section so let's move back to our command prompt before then i'm going to snap this window to the left side and also have the command prompt snap to the right side so i'm going to select this and then make sure that we have these windows displayed side by side on our graphical user interface now that we have our documents selected i'm going to type mkdir and i'm going to type the names of the folders i want to have in the document location now after typing the names of the folders you can hit the enter key on the keyboard and when you look at our file explorer now you can see that we have all these folders created and they are located in the document location so we were able to use our command prompt software access a location or a directory and write a simple command to create our multiple folders in a specific location now that we are able to select the desktop and also the document to create our multiple folders we are going to target a last location and you can utilize all the locations that we have and i'm going to target three locations in this particular video we have targeted the desktop the document now let's target the downloads folder and when we move to the file explorer window and select the downloads folder we have nothing displayed here so let's see if we create our multiple folders within the command prompt software we are going to have all those folders displayed in the downloads folder in our file explorer now let's change the directory so i'm going to select the window and type cd dot dot and this is going to move us to our previous location and now let's target the downloads folder i'm going to type cd downloads then you hit the enter key now let's type the mkdir and type the names of the folders or directories we want to create now after typing the names you can hit the enter key and when you move back to our file explorer you can see that we have created these folders within command prompt and they are identified in the file explorer window so this is how to create multiple folders using command prompt software by changing directories by typing simple commands to create our multiple folders and when you compare this to 
the operations done within our graphical user interface this command prompt makes you a pro user in your windows interface so make sure you can utilize this software on your computer system to be a genius and also a best user when it comes to windows interface